Hey guys, Andrew here. Wanted to tell you about the product design cycle. So you're trying to bring your product idea to market. You have a great invention idea and now you want to make some money selling it, getting it out there to retail stores. How do you do this, right? So the first step is called your concept sketches. This is where you're going to sit down with a product designer and you're going to come up with the idea in your head and you're going to put it down on paper. So for example, the product that I have here is my product. It's called Velocity Clip. It's a universal cell phone mount that allows you to take videos with your smartphone. So think GoPro with your phone, right? So we did three concept sketches. We picked and chose which pieces of each one of them we liked, combined it into a final product, and that is what we were then able to take to the engineer. So the engineering team that worked on this, we had an industrial and a mechanical engineer because this has a lot of mechanical moving parts that need to be very secure to hold your $700 phone while you're flying down a mountain at breakneck speeds. So then you go into engineering. This is when you get your CAD design done and your 3D printing can be done and your 3D printing is only going to be good as your CAD design. So it's really important to have a good engineer. The product only is going to be as good as the guy that designed it. And then we were able to get those 3D prints, hold it, look, feel, touch, and we figured out some things we needed to change, made some minor changes, and then we were able to actually render the product in the CAD. So this is where we can actually make it look like there's a phone inside of it. And these pictures became our first product photos. So this is when my team could launch our Kickstarter, because now we had a physical product, I had my 3D print, and we had our product photos. So we launched our website, launched our Kickstarter, had a great Kickstarter campaign, and then we needed to go manufacture it. The cool thing about the product design firm that we used was Focus Product Design, is they actually do the manufacturing for you. So it's an option, you don't have to go with their manufacturing, and I own the tooling, so anytime I can pull the tools from them. But if for me, it saves me and my team a lot of work, because I don't have to fly over to China to do quality control, and I don't have to rely on a Chinese agent to get things done. They have Americans on site overseas in China that do all their production for them. So really cool product design firm. I hope you learned some stuff about the product design lifecycle. Um, go ahead and check out Focus Product Design. They have tons of information on their website. I'll post the link right here below the video. Thanks for watching, guys.